Yeah, no. some interesting things. Call the meeting to order for Monday evening, March 23rd, 2015. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, counselors. Mr. Clerk, the first item. We have the appointment of Kevin Hughes, 101 Hammond Street, Brockton, as a constable of the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Referred to finance. The appointment of Jonathan Cronshaw, 114 Lewiston Street, Brockton, as <coughs> constable, city of Brockton, for a term of three years. Referred to finance. The appointment of James C. Duquette at 260 Tory Street, Brockton, as constable of the city of Brockton, for a term of three years. Referred to finance. We have the report of the Ordinance Committee for its meeting of March 10th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of March 16th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the District Treasurer of the Southeastern Regional School District. In accordance with the provisions of Chapter 489, Acts of 63 as amended, and Section 16B, Chapter 71, the Mass General Law as amended, January 2, 1982, and in consideration of the vote and action of Southeastern Regional School District Committee as of March 10, 2015, whereby the budget of fiscal year 2016 was approved, certifying that the amount to be apportioned to the City of Brockton for a share of capital and operating costs, Southeastern Regional School District, for the fiscal period beginning July 1, 2015, is $3,133,097. The assessment is to be paid in four equal quarterly installments due September 1, 2015, December 1, 2015, March 1, 2016, and June 1, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor appointing John Crowley as permanent police chief, effective March 6, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from Peter G. Aziaf, Jr., submitting a letter of resignation from the Brockton Housing Authority as of March 1, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO. Hold on one second here. In accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed amendment to the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Section 2-186, 2-188, in order to provide for the position of a full-time Senior Assistant City Solicitor, and Section 2-127, to provide a salary structure for the Senior Assistant City Solicitor title. The proposal has substantial merit. The fiscal 15 budget also has sufficient funds to pay for the added salary due to position vacancies. The added cost in future budgets, about 20,000 per year, in difference between a full-time assistant city solicitor and a full-time senior assistant city solicitor is not significant and could be absorbed at current funding depending on how many full-time and part-time assistants Compromise the staff. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> From the B DPW Commissioner, requesting the City Council authorize Mayor Bill Carpenter to enter in a sustainable materials recovery program, municipal grant with the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Environmental Protection Agency, for the purpose of a targeted small scale initiative for a total grant value of $2,000, and authorize the Mayor by and through the Commissioner of Public Works to expend the grant for recycling materials in accordance with the terms and conditions of said agreement. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the executive director of Parking Authority requesting the transfer of 165000 from the Parking Authority meter reserve account to snow removal. These expenses were incurred snow plowing, sanding, and snow removal from the city owned and leased lots in the Adams parking garage in order to fund the shortfall and snow removal for fiscal 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative Accepted to the and same. placed on file. Communication from the Executive Director of Parking Authority requesting a transfer of $95,000 from the Parking Authority meter reserve account to consulting. The study is needed to assess the need for additional parking to accommodate plan development and to revive a comprehensive parking management plan to develop the parking required. 
in order to fund a comprehensive parking study for the downtown area. Accepted and placed on and file. Application from the mayor recommending the Accepted same. and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative Accepted to the and same. placed on file. Communication from the superintendent of the buildings requesting the transfer of $15,000 from building department personal services other than overtime to building department overtime due to unexpected expenses for emergency calls during the evenings and weekends due to aging city buildings along with the severe winter weather and emergency calls from fire police and for after hour inspectional services. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the Accepted same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO <coughs> relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Highway Safety Division, fiscal 2015, sustained enforcement grant program in the amount of $150,000. Grant funds in the amount of 149000 will be used to pay for police department overtime to conduct high visibility traffic enforcement of intersections with high volume of accidents and injuries during peak <coughs> hours, and 1000 is to be used for overtime for data entry purposes. Accepted and placed on file. And the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. CFO relative to the Accepted same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the interim chief of police request authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2014 Department of Justice Bureau of Justice assistant grant in the amount of $130,399. These funds will be used to hire for research and evaluation services, hire social workers to assist in co responding to family violence calls with the Brockton Police and clergy, police equipment, travel, and training costs. Overtime for police and grant for uh, fiscal management services. This award is shared with the towns of Plymouth and Wayham. The city will receive $103,602 for the stated purpose, of which $13,039 is compensation for grant administration. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO. Accepted <laughs> and placed on file. Communication from the interim chief of police requests an authorization to expend grant monies related to fiscal 2015 public safety answering point and regional emergency communication center support and initiative grant in the amount of $315,586. These funds will be used to backfill both ETD and police dispatch wages incurred from 2415 to 63015 for any associated overtime costs. To replace that same personnel as well as funds to install a new dispatch console for the fire department dispatches. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security's Year 7 of the Fiscal 15 Local Action Research Grant in the amount of $41,684.21. The purpose of this grant is to hire outside contractor assistance to evaluate the work being done with Shannon grant funds for reducing youth and gang violence. No grant match is required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the uh, mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the Accepted same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the interim chief of police request an authorization to expend grant money related to fiscal 2015 state 911 department training and emergency medical dispatch grant mm -hmm. in the amount of $162,000. $974.62. These funds will be used to reimburse overtime for ETD, police officers and fire department, EMD personnel to attend the mandatory 16 hours of E911 certification trainings, as well as the cost to pay certified training vendors approved by the state 911 department. There is no grant match required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative. Accepted and same. placed on file. Communication from the treasurer collector requesting a transfer of <clears> $5,000 from the treasurer's department Purchase of Services Security Fire Control, <coughs> the Treasurer's <coughs> Department, Personnel <coughs> Services, Overtime, in order to cover the expected overtime costs for the remainder of the fiscal year. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to Accepted the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
communication from the personnel director verifying that based on review of the current personnel department, personnel employees benefits, unemployment compensation, the appropriation has a surplus of $150,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Executive Director of Elections Commission requesting a transfer of $75,000 from the Personnel Department, Personnel Employee Benefits to Election Commission Personal Services, $55,000, and Election Commission Purchase Services, $20,000, in order to cover the anticipated cost of a special election on May 12, 2015, regarding casino gambling in the city. These costs, in accordance with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts regulations, will be reimbursed to the city by the casino developer, whether the referendum is successful or not. The funding source is unexpended funds in the personnel department, which will not be required this year. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative and to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the personnel director verifying that based on review of the current personnel department, personnel employee benefits, unemployment compensation, the appropriation has a surplus of $150,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city solicitor requesting $25,000 and funding for the law department, purchases of services, fiscal 15 budget, for the purpose of paying costs to the city in connection with the special election. These costs will be reimbursed to the city by the casino developer. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the <coughs> CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the mayor requested that the city council rescinds order 76 is adopted by the council of March 9, 2015, for the purpose of accepting and expending a $339,000 40R Smart Growth Initiative dividend for various planning purposes. The Department of Revenue has ruled that 40R funds are receipts to the general fund in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 44, Section 53 and that the city has already set its tax rate for fiscal 15. These funds may not be appropriated to a general fund spending amount. Accordingly, he will separately request that the city council establish a revolving fund for the intended purposes in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section <coughs> 53E and one half. Accepted and placed Mr. President. Order. Councilor Sullivan. Through you, Mr. President, as you may remember, colleagues, we had asked Mr. Kahn and also Mr. May when they came before us a few weeks ago I asked the question relative to if they could give us a counting on how much money was received by the city of Brockton since we adopted, this body adopted Chapter 40R. I don't believe any of us have received that. I'm respectfully asking, Mr. President, if we could give them uh, a reminder to do so. We will do that, Councilor. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I will make sure of that as well. You're welcome, Councilor. Communication from the uh, CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city auditor certifying that the $339,000 <coughs> Chapter 40 R Smart Growth Initiative dividend from the Commonwealth was not used in setting the tax rate. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53 and one half, recommending that the city council establish a 40-hour smart grant initiative revolving fund for said receipts from the Commonwealth of Mass for purpose of engaging professional consulting services to prepare a citywide comprehensive plan, downtown redevelopment plan, downtown district improvement plan, Camp Pello District Redevelopment Plan and to help fund the management by the Brockton Redevelopment Authority of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Home Program. Expenditures from the revolving fund shall be under the direction of the Department of Planning and Urban Development and shall be limited to $350,000 in fiscal 15. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. We are ordained that Section 2-28 compensation is amended by changing the amount of $10,000 to $15,000 with an effective date of January 2016. In Council, February 9, 2015, ready to refer to the Standing Committee and ordinance. The question is on the amendment. By hand of vote, all in favor? All opposed? The amendment passes. The question is on the passage to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. All in favor? All opposed? Goes to a third reading.
ordered that the city appropriate the amount of $3,861,778 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing, including the payment of all costs incidental or related thereto at the Brookfield Elementary School. In Council, February 23, 2015, rendering for the Committee on Finance, and that report is favorable. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. 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 Pioneer. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. This one here. This is the one with the windows, right? Yes. That was favorable. The number fifty-five. Right. Just take that for a moment. Ordered that the city appropriate the amount of two million seventy-five thousand nine hundred nineteen dollars for the purpose of paying costs of, of roof repairs and resurfacing boiler replacement at the Barrett Russell Kidney Garden. In Council, March 9, 2015, passed the third reading by a hand vote. <coughs> the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Solomon. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the city appropriate the amount of three million five hundred ninety thousand four hundred and eighty six dollars for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing boiler replacement at the Ashfield Middle School. End Council February twenty third. 2015, ready for the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council appropriate the amount of $2,843,301 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing and boiler replacement at the Gilmer Early Childhood Center. End Council, February 23, 2015. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. The appointment of David Texera, 31 North Manchester Street, Brockton, as a member of the Brockton Housing Authority for a five year term <coughs> in March 2020. In Council, March 9, 2015. Regiment for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. I know. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Daniel S. Clay, 179 Bellevue <coughs> Ave, Brockton to the Brockton Council of Asian, three year term in March 2018. And Council March 9, 2015. Ready for the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. The appropriation of $124,604.01 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs, Fiscal 2015, Formula Grant to Council on Aging, Elder Affairs Grant Fund. This grant is to be used for salaries, including overtime, energy department equipment and repair, printing office supplies and registrations, med memberships and subscriptions. And Council March 9, 2015, right before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hazak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. <coughs> yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $600 from the Mass Association of Council on Aging, Fiscal 2015, 
Keep Moving Walking Program grant, the Council on Aging grant fund. This grant is to improve the lives of people over the age of 50 by promoting fiscal activity to help prevent and postpone chronic disease, build healthy bodies and minds, and keep individuals socially connected. And Council March 9, 2015, ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Benatley. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <coughs> The order is adopted. Order that the following names, some be and the same is hereby appropriated, as the same was submitted by the mayor, as follows. Appropriation of funds up to $4 million in excess of amounts already appropriated for DPW highway snow removal for the purpose of fiscal 2015 snow removal. As it stands, this winter's snowfall amount has been excessively high. The present snow removal budget of almost $2,358,000 has been depleted. The deficit was already in excess of about $2,300,000 before the end of February, with about one month of winter storm months remaining. In Council March 9, 2015, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council hereby names a municipal building located at 60 Crescent Street as the Paul V. Studensky Municipal Building. In Council March 9, 2015, Randy referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the superintendent of schools be invited to appear before a committee of this council to provide an update relative to the Brockton <laughs> school system. In council March 9, 2015, refer to the committee on finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Yes. The order is adopted. <coughs> An ordinance amending Chapter 23 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 23, Section 30, Paragraph F, Section 6, Water Consumption. Refer it to ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Article 111, Division 5, Section 2-186, Assistant City Solicitor. Referred to ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 14 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 14, Offenses Miscellaneous, is hereby amended by adding the following new article, Article 4, prohibiting the sale of electronic cigarettes to minors. Referred to ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 zoning is hereby amended by adding the following new section, 27-32, 100 after Section 27-32.95 as follows. Section 27-32.100C9, Resort Casino Overlay, uh, Overlay District. That item is referred to ordinance and planning Order that in accordance with Chapter 23, Section 30F, Paragraph 6, Revised Ordinance of the City of Brockton, Brockton Water Commission is recommending a 30% increase, 15% water rate increase, effective July 1, 2015, and another 15% increase, effective July 1, 2016. The increase will address the current needs of the Water Division, including but not limited to capital projects, <coughs> EPA, DEP mandates, and Aquaria contract services, as well as personal services. Referred to finance. Order that the City Council rescind Order 76 is adopted by the Council of March 9, 2015, for the purpose of ex accepting and expending a $339,000 40R smart growth incentive dividend 
for various planning purposes. Accordingly, requested that the City Council establish a revolving fund for the intended purpose in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half. Referred to finance. Ordered that pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53 and one half, City Council authorizes the establishment of a 40R Smart Grant Incentive Revolving Fund for said receipts from the Commonwealth of Mass for the purpose of engaging professional counsel consulting services to prepare a citywide comprehensive plan, downtown redevelopment plan, downtown district improvement plan, Campello district redevelopment plan, and to help fund the management by the Brockton Redevelopment Authority of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Home Program. Expenditures for the revolving fund shall be under the direction of the Department of Planning and Economic Development shall be limited to $350,000 in fiscal 15. Refer to finance. Order that in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state election will be held on Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015, and that the city election will be held on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2015. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $150,000 from the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2015 Traffic Enforcement Grant, the City of Procton Police Department, Fiscal 15 Traffic Enforcement Grant, grant funds in the amount of $149,000 will be used to pay for police overtime to conduct high visibility traffic enforcement of intersections with high volume of accidents and injuries during peak hours and $1,000 to be used for overtime for data entry purposes. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $41,684.21 from the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Year 7 of the Local Action Research Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, EOPSS Fiscal 15 Local Action Research Grant Fund. The purpose of this grant is to hire outside contractor assistance to evaluate the work being done with Shannon Grant Funds for reducing youth and gang violence. No grant match is required. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $2,000, the Mass Department of Environmental Protection, Sustainable Materials Recovery Program, Municipal Grant to Refuge Department, Recycling Containers Grant Fund. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $130,000. $339 from the U.S. Department of Justice Assisted Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department Justice Assistant Grant Fund. These funds will be used to hire for research and evaluation services, hire social workers to assist in co-responding to family violence calls with the Brockton Police and Clergy, police equipment, travel and training costs, overtime for police, and grant fiscal management services. Referred to finance. An appropriation of $162,974.62 for the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 911, Department Training Grant, and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant, the City of Procton Police Department, State 911 Training Grant, and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant Funds. These funds will be used to reimburse overtime for ETD police officers and fire department EMD personnel to attend the mandatory 16 hours of E911 certification training, as well as the cost to pay certified training vendors approved by the state 911 department. There is no grant match required. Refer to finance. Transfer $165,000 from the Park and Meter Reserve fees to Park and Authority snow removal in order to cover the shortfall in fiscal 2050, plowing, sanding, and removal of snow for the parking authority. Referred to finance. <clears throat> Transfer of $95,000 from the parking meter reserve fund to parking authority ordinary maintenance services in order to fund a comprehensive parking study for the downtown area. The study is needed to assess the needs for additional parking to accommodate planned development and to arrive at a comprehensive parking management plan to develop, to develop the parking required. Refer to finance. Transfer $15,000 from the Building Department Personal Services, other than overtime, to Building Department Overtime due to unexpected expenses for emergency calls during the evenings and weekends due to age in city buildings, along with severe winter weather and emergency calls from fire, police, and for after-hour inspectional services. Refer to finance. 
transfer $5,000 from the Treasurer's Department, Purchase of Services, Security, Fire Control, the Treasurer's Department, Personal Services Overtime, in order to cover the expected overtime costs for the remainder of the fiscal year. Referred to finance. Transfer $75,000 from the Personnel Department, Personnel Employee Benefits, $75,000, to Election Commission, Personal Services, $55,000, and Election Commission, Purchase Services, $20,000, in order to cover the anticipated cost of the special election on May 12, 2015, regarding casino gambling in the city. These costs, in accordance with the Commonwealth of Mass regulations, will be reimbursed to the city by the casino developer Developer, whether the referendum is successful or not. The funding source is unexpended funds in the personnel department, which will not be required this year. Referred to finance. A transfer of $25,000 from the personnel department, personnel services, employee benefits, to law department, purchase services, for the purpose of paying costs to the city in connection with the special election. Referred to finance. Councilors, just before we take, uh, before I take any of this for uh, other comments, um, just keep in mind we have five Mondays in March, so we will not have a finance meeting next Monday. Our uh, next finance meeting will be Monday, April the 6th, and ne next week, you know, brings us into the Easter holiday, so you're uh, getting a, a day off as of next Monday evening, but we'll be back here April the 6th, and as you can see, we will definitely have a full agenda with, with items um, before. I think I saw Councilor Duwaz hand up first. Go ahead, Councilor. Uh, may I have a moment of personal privilege? You may, Councilor. So I just want to announce that this Friday, March 27th, I'll be host, hosting um, office hours here in the Brockton City Hall from 1 to 4, right on the second floor in the Brockton uh, City Council Chambers. So anyone that would like to come and talk with me, I'm going to be here this Friday, March 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. right here in City Hall. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilor slash State Representative. Mm -hmm. um, anyone? Uh, Anyone else? Councilors, I'm hosting an award meeting tomorrow evening at the John F. Kennedy School at 7 o'clock p.m. That's tomorrow evening, March 24th at 7 o'clock p.m. If anybody wishes to, uh, to stop by, and actually my meeting is open to Ward 3 residents and all the residents of the city of Brockton. So any other business to come before this council this evening? Seeing none, meeting adjourned.